What up, people? It's the superhero of YouTube, your boy Jay, and I'm back again with another Madden 25 cover vote video for you. And this is round four. And before I even get into this video, thanks to all of the new subscribers that have come to my channel. I'm assuming maybe from the sports commentators March Madness. I have been kind of slow as far as posting videos because I am currently back in school and had some family over, so I've been kind of busy. But I'm going to get back to posting some videos soon. Maybe this weekend I try to play a couple games against some subscribers to have some gameplay to post up on my channel. But this is a video talking about the next player to be on the cover of Madden 25. And if you have missed the other previous videos I did, I will try to leave a link to them in the description below. One thing that I was doing with these videos was is I was trying to break down three categories on each side, the old school and the new school side. It was going to be a landslide matchup, it was going to be a close matchup, and it was going to be a upset matchup. So basically the landslide is the person that's going to basically be like 90 something to like 8%. And the upset, of course, you know what the upset is going to be. And the, the closest matchup each round, there have been at least one or two matchups that have been within 4 to 5% within each other. So last week, let's see who I voted for last week. Last week, I voted for Joe Montana over Dan Marino. I voted for Barry Sanders, Jerry Rice, Deion Sanders in the old school bracket. In my new school bracket, I voted for Colin Kaepernick. Andrew Luck, RG3, and Adrian Peterson. So I think last week my upset in the old school bracket I thought was going to be the Troy Aikman over Deion Sanders. I think that's what it was. For those of you that watched my old video, um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, again, I think that's what I said last week. And my landslide was going to be the Jerry Rice over Michael Strahan and hmm, the closest matchup. I think my closest matchup was the Deion Sanders Troy Aikman and I think the upset was probably the Ray Lewis over Barry Sanders. Again, I think I said that because Ray Lewis is coming off of the Super Bowl retirement and he was in the last uh, Madden far as doing that little skit in the beginning where he's talking in the dark like he's Freddy Krueger or Jason or something. But that's where I came up with the conclusion of maybe Ray Lewis beating out Barry Sanders. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. On the new school side, my upset, unfortunately, was the Colin Kaepernick losing to Arian Foster. And I thought of that because uh, Kaepernick, he has been edging by over the past two rounds, uh, beating out some people. And Foster has been averaging, you know, some decent percent. So I kind of figured Aaron Foster would probably beat him out. My closest matchup, I picked the Andrew Luck and Russell Wilson. And my landslide was the Adrian Peterson versus the Rob Gronk. And of course, I picked RG3 over Ray Rice. So this week, what you're looking at right now is the picture and my votes for this week. I picked, uh, I clicked the wrong picture. Let's go back. This week, I picked Joe Montana to beat out Barry Sanders. I picked Jerry Rice to beat out Deion Sanders. On the new school side, I picked Arian Foster to beat out Russell Wilson and Adrian Peterson to beat out RG3. All right. Last week, well, the percentage, as you can see, I was right on the landslide on the old school side. Jerry Rice basically demolished Michael Strahan. Um, and my upset didn't happen. Barry Sanders uh, beat Lewis. I would have thought it would have been a little bit closer than that. I mean, come on, Ravens. I would have thought this would have been a little closer, but nope. Um, and and the other matchup that kind of has me confused is the Troy Aikman versus Deion Sanders. 
I'm not taking nothing away from Deion Sanders. And I think, I don't know if you all heard that truck, but um, maybe I'm underestimating what's going on here. I mean, Deion Sanders, he has played for about three different teams, the 49ers, Atlanta Falcons, and the Cowboys. So, but I would have thought that the Cowboys fans would have at least give Aikman a better percent than 25. But I guess there's just that much more people voting for Deion Sanders. On the new school side, um, I voted for Aaron Foster and Adrian Peterson. And of course, my upset did happen, you know. 53 to 47% Aaron Foster beat out Colin Kaepernick. My uh, closest matchup was the Andrew Luck and um, Wilson. Well, it's kind of close. Uh, I did. I voted for Andrew Luck. I do not want to see Wilson do anything. But And my landslide, which I was correct on, Adrian Peterson beating out a Gronk. And I voted for RG3 over Ray Rice. So this week right here, Joe Montana versus Barry Sanders and Jerry Rice versus Deion Sanders. All right. My upset in this bracket is going to be Barry Sanders at the number three seed beating out Joe Montana. I voted for Joe Montana. I am a 49ers fan. So, of course, I'm going to vote for Joe Montana, even though I... Totally respect Barry Sanders, an awesome running back. It's just that, you know, it's Joe Montana. But I do see that being an upset. Um, last week, Joe Montana pulled in about 70% of the vote going against Moreno. And I think, to be honest with you, Barry Sanders had a tougher matchup going against Ray Lewis. So that's why I'm kind of predicting that this is going to be the upset. Now, this Jerry Rice versus Deion Sanders. I didn't call this an upset. I think this is going to be a close matchup. But I do see Jerry Rice edging this one out over Deion Sanders. Um, Prime time is an awesome cornerback, but Jerry Rice is just one of the greatest, you know, football player ever. So I think he's going to edge this one out, even though... Deion Sanders is going to have, you know, players from three different teams. But Jerry Rice played for um, the Raiders and so me. Of course, he's going to he's going to pull some other different fans. So uh, again, my upset in the old school bracket is going to be the Barry Sanders over Joe Montana. And of course, this is going to be a close matchup be between. Deion Sanders and Jerry Rice. Okay, over to the new school side of the bracket. We have Russell Wilson versus Aaron Foster. Of course, I voted for Aaron Foster. Um, it is what it is, but I really don't care for neither one of those guys. I'm not saying that they're not good players. It's just that it doesn't matter who goes on to the next round because they're going to lose to Adrian Peterson. Now, here is... This bracket, even though it's a shoe-in for Adrian Peterson, anything can happen. My upset right now is going to be the Russell Wilson beating out Arian Foster. Um, like it or not, Russell Wilson is pretty popular, even though he has been sneaking by. Uh, he's, I would say he had an easy road coming all the way to the Elite Eight. Um, but he is going up against Arian Foster. Arian Foster's fan base, I don't know how big it is. I really don't know how big his fan base is. I don't know if that many people actually like him. I like him, and I think that's more because I'm not a Russell Wilson fan. So that's why I voted for Arian Foster. I do see Russell Wilson beating out Arian Foster. Next, um, this is going to be a close matchup. This Adrian Peterson versus RG3. Um, I, I'm not even going to say it's going to be an upset. Adrian Peterson is going to win. 
but it's going to be by how much. I do see it maybe being um, maybe 60-40 around that, uh, maybe 70-30. But RG3 has a lot of fans out there, so um, it's going to be close. The Arian Foster versus the um, uh, Russell Wilson is going to probably be like a 50-40 Something around there. It's going to be close. Uh, and it's going to be an upset. The Barry Sanders, Joe Montana. If Barry Sanders does not win by, you know, 50, 40 something percent, Joe Montana is going to win 70, 30, something like that. The Jerry Rice percentage, I think, is going to be roughly around uh, a 60, 40, 70, 30. Jerry Rice is going to win over Deion Sanders. But anyway, people, that. That's my vote. These are my votes. Again, in the description below, you will be able to vote for who you think should be on the cover of the next Madden game. Um, go ahead and head over there and vote for your person in the comment section below. Leave me your opinions on last week, who you felt should have made it through. Of course, I felt Kaepernick should have made it through, but he was the upset. Also, let me know in this week, who do you think is going to be the upset and who do you think is going to be the close matchup? Always go ahead and leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. And until the next video, it's your boy Jay and I am is out.